All right, everyone, we're going to talk about self-exams for neuropathy. So if you're experiencing numbness, tingling, night cramps, and dizziness, especially if you have a history of diabetes, it is really important to pay attention. Dr. Ahmed Ergen, I'm your endocrinologist in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Now, self-exams is not a substitute for a professional diagnosis and treatment, right? It can give you some useful insights into your health. And in the previous video, we discussed about questions to ask yourself for the symptoms to self-diagnose neuropathy, which is fine because I'm giving you the same questions doctors are asking. So it is safe to do so. But let's remind yourself what the symptoms were first, and then we will move to the exam part. Again, these are similar exam doctors do in their office, so you can do it yourself at home. Of course, you can report what you did at home to your doctor and your doctor will be proud of you. Now, common symptoms of neuropathy, let's remember that before the exam, Numbness or tingling in your hands or feet, mostly starting with feet, never starts on the hands. Sharp jabbing burning pain, extreme sensitivity to touch, lack of coordination. It could be dizziness, it could be muscle weakness, it could be night cramps in your legs, it could be dizziness, right? So all of these are most common symptoms of neuropathy. But let's do a self-exam. Not everybody has symptoms, right? So sometimes you have to just do an examination and half the time, you can diagnose yourself without symptoms with the examination. Now, for example, let's talk about light touch. So light and touch different parts of your feet or your hands with a feather or cotton ball. Now, note any areas where you cannot feel the touch or where it feels different compared to the other areas. So what it means is that reduced sensitivity or numbness could actually indicate nerve damage. Now, second test is a temperature test. Now, what do we do? Well, you're gonna hold a warm, not hot, <laughs> object, and like a heated towel against your skin, uh, symmetrically on both feet, and compare it to the upper arms. Now, you can compare that to a sensation with a cool object, for example, also like a cold spoon. And again, what it means that if there are differences that tells you inability to distinguish between warm or cool temperatures in both extremity or one or the other, that will be a sign of neuropathy as well. Now, vibration sensation. So you can have a tuning fork or you can use an electric brush to be creative if you don't have a tuning fork since you're not a doctor. But uh, if you can feel the vibration equally on both sides and in all areas, that is great. If you cannot, means a reduced sense of vibration often correlates with nerve damage and try that on your arms as well if you're if you're feeling better on your arms than the feet then obviously you have problems in your feet with the nerves now how about coordination you can stand up with your feet together and arms at your sides you can close your eyes and try to maintain balance for at least 30 seconds now what it means that if you have difficulty balancing or frequent falls may indicate that you know neuropathy is actually affecting your coordination let's talk about the extension of the big toe now, what you do is you sit comfortably with your feet flat on the floor and you attempt to lift your big toe upwards while keeping the rest of your foot on the ground now you can observe if you can perform the movement smoothly or have someone observe you and if there is any weakness in lifting then it may mean that this weakness in the extension of the big toe may be a sign of, again, neuropathy or nerve dysfunction. Now, the next exam we call ankle dorsiflexion. So what do you do here is you sit on a chair and place your foot flat on the ground again, raise your toes towards your shin, the whole, all the toes towards your shin, keeping your heel on the floor. Now hold for a few seconds and then relax. What it means inability to lift the foot properly may point towards motor weakness or nerve impairment, again, due to neuropathy. Next is walking on heels. That's the fun thing to do, right? You can stand up straight and lift your toes off the ground and balancing your, on your heels, basically. Now, Attempt to walk forward in this position for a short distance, not, not a long one. And if you're having difficulty on your heels, that may also indicate weakness in the muscles controlled by the nerves that we assessed in the earlier steps, saying that or signaling that you have neuropathy that already affected your muscles. 
The next on the list, on the exam list, is foot inspection. So what do you do is you check your feet, hopefully daily, for blisters, cuts, and sores that you might have noticed. But especially pay attention to, even if there's none of these are present, to the skin color or the temperature. If your wounds are not healing correctly or fast enough, if you have super dry skin, if you have calluses, super dry to a point where they're all cracked or cracked open almost, it's a problem, right? Neuropathy sign. Now remember to use your daily dose of sugar MD neuropathy support, right? So. The importance of that is there's all the antioxidants and vitamins you need is right here. Alpha lipoic acid, benfotiamine, B-complex vitamins, and so forth. Now, of course, you can do the exam. You can do all you want. Check your symptoms, self-diagnose. These are all great, but you don't want to skip the doctor's appointment. You want to make sure that you also talk to a doctor as well. Explain your concerns, why you think you may have neuropathy, and how you think you have neuropathy, impress your doctor, it's okay, you know, and tell them that you've been using neuropathy support from Sugar MD and it has been helping you, which I hear from my patients all the time. Nothing wrong with that. And most podiatrists and some neurologists will actually know about alpha lipoic acid and benfotiamine, but a lot of internal medicine doctors unfortunately don't know anything about it. But, you know, just be nice to your doctor, educate them, have them check our channel, you know, that actually uh, will benefit their patients as well. But tell me what you have. Tell me which symptoms or signs you have that you documented that make you think that you have neuropathy. And write in the comment section below. And we'd love to hear from you. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far. And I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.